Look what I got here. This is the Trolls of Mistwood. This is a Dungeon Crawl Classics RPG adventure by Shinobi27 Games. And this is an adventure for five to eight characters of levels four through six. Okay. This is a judge-only video. Once again, my apologies to those players. First thing, this is a 40-page adventure. So you're getting a lot of adventure. You're getting a lot of good DCC-inspired art. I really like the way that the, the trolls are drawn. It gives you that old-school D&D feel. And you're also getting two great maps from cartographer Brian Van Hunsel. Both these maps have, in my opinion, they have like a colonial American map look to them, which I really like. And I'm looking forward to seeing, hopefully he's going to use him for more maps in the upcoming adventure Curse, the Curse of Mistwood. So I'm a big fan of those two maps. The, those two maps are Mist, the Mistwood Town proper, and to the west lies the Gravic Swamp, uh, a complete map there of the to the west of Mistwood, this Gravic Swamp area. And they're just really great maps. And you can actually get larger color versions of them on RPG Now and Drive Through RPG. Um, larger, they're going to look you know, in color and um, really nice. So. Getting that out of the way, I'm not, this is an overview video, so uh, I'm not going to break down each thing that happens, but I will let you know some of the things that you should portray to your players. Um, you should try to really ramp up the atmosphere of this adventure, because in the very beginning of this adventure, you're going to have a city that's been besieged by trolls. Now, that's one thing that's really neat, because trolls are usually that one-off encounter monster that you throw maybe one or two and they're, sometimes they're rolled up on a random chart or something, you're fighting trolls, and this adventure completely surrounds itself, you know, the story is with trolls, and I really like that a lot. It also has another monster uh, that's used, another enemy that's really fun to describe, another nasty creature, and I don't think that they're probably used as much as they, they could be used. And this adventure uses both of the trolls and hags. I, hags are awesome. Disgusting. They're very, you can be very descriptive with them. Um, they're just horrific, and they're fun. They're fun to play. They're fun to run. And um, so it's got both of those, okay? It's got a very intriguing story. It's got some conspiracy. It's got this this uh, kind of an ancient tale that's told by the townsfolk of Mistwood. And uh, it's got some stuff for your players to try to figure out, and that's fun for them to, to watch them try to get the pieces of the puzzle, put it together. But it's also got some sandbox to it. It's got some sandbox, it's got some great story in there, it's got some, you know, almost like a little bit of a tragedy a little bit in it too in the story. So it's, it's just fun to see how they're going to react to it. And it has a lot of options for your players uh, to, to make. Uh, they're going to have to make some choices. And I think if you play this with multiple groups, you might get multiple outcomes. And that's going to be exciting for you to know that the players have this option. It's definitely towards the end of the adventure. But it's going to either be very dangerous or less dangerous or brutally dangerous. So they've got some choices. Um, and that's fun. Now, the very first part of the adventure, you really want to ramp up the desolation of these, these poor townsfolk of Mistwood. This is a farming community, and they're being besieged by trolls. One of their bravest leaders has um, poss is possibly dead. Um, you know, their, their people have been whittled down. Their militia has been whittled down. Uh, by these trolls are being attacked almost daily by them. There's huge pyres outside with troll bodies on them. So you really want to ramp up the smells of these burning troll bodies, uh, the desolation in these poor uh, people's faces. Uh, they're not taking any uh, crap from really anybody. The militia are, and um, you know, really play that sense of almost like a hopelessness and a fear is amongst the players. Now, one thing that's cool is the map and the way the adventure is in the beginning, the players can kind of come into the town and kind of do a little bit of, um, you know, looking around and, and, you know, going to this building and that building, this inn and this tavern, and that's fun. And then the story proper is going to continue, you know, going to go, and they can have, they have a chance to actually help the townsfolk and help the militia. Um, they can, they can, you know, hold watch over the town at night, do patrols inside, and, that's going to lead to a couple of encounters that are going to happen to propel the story onward. Push is going to come to shove. They're going to find out maybe a little bit of conspiracies going on behind the scenes. Um, and they're going to go into the swamp. And now this is really what I really like about the adventure. On top of the story, the intrigue in the story, 
and the kind of the drama behind the story. I really like that you've got this swamp to go into. And swamps are just such great environments. Everybody can see, you know, knows that scene in their head of the raft, the flat wooden raft with the long pole, you know, pushing yourself along a swamp. And the sounds, the smells, stuff skittering in the bushes and in the, the vines, um, the strange slap of some sort of strange fishtail in the water. You can really describe a swamp, and if you use sound effects, both of those you can just ramp up through the, through the roof. And it, this adventure's got a lot of atmosphere because of its location and the fact that you're dealing with such a nasty creature. Trolls are awesome. I've always enjoyed playing them. Um, you know, they're, they're just a fun, nasty creature. You can really get into the sound effects. Really come at your players. Really attack your players in front of them. You know, you know talk about their dirty claws. and you know, they, they come up out of the water and they're, they're covered in kind of a swamp slime. and The smell of them. You know, the, the reek out of their mouth. Um, you know, their gores, they all of a sudden explode up out of the water, spraying the characters in, you know, this nasty swamp water, but then they're, you know, they're so, you know, horrified by this, these monsters that are attacking them, these trolls. They're a tough creature to fight, and so, on top of all that atmosphere, they've got this nasty creature that's, you know, attacking them. There is a, a random encounter chart that you can have a lot of fun with, so this is where... If your characters go straight to where they need to go, you can have a very quick night with Trolls of, the, of Mistwood. Or you could really add a lot of stuff to this swamp and let them have a bunch of encounters, a bunch of red herrings in here, and really kind of open the swamp up. And that's fun to know that you've got that ability when it comes to time management to open or kind of close the adventure. Um, they're going to come across a pretty much like a huge tree that's hollowed out. And there's going to be a little bit of exploration in that scene, and that's a fun scene. That's another place where, you know, you can describe the smell of the decaying bodies of these lizard men. Um, describe the altar that's in there. It's just a great scene once again to describe to the players, again with sound effects and stuff. I, I'm a big supporter of sound effects, and while I was reading this adventure, all I did was think about, you know, the sound effects I could use in this scene and that scene. How I would let the, you know, let the players know about this creature or, you know, the way that the swamp looks or smells. Um, you know, and that's what I tell you to do is really, again, go for those senses. When when a troll busts up out of the water, have that nasty swamp water going to the characters' mouths. You know, they're spitting that out, but they're also trying to, you know, it's gotten into their eyes and they're trying to see the troll. They're trying to pull their weapons. You know, there's mass hysteria you know, on the raft. And that's just a cool scene uh, to play out multiple times. Um, of just fear, foreboding fear. Swamps just have that, you know, that in, encasing fear of darkness and the unknown and slithering things. So you can have a lot of fun with it. Now I want to say two things. Uh, it's got two. It's got two patrons in it, and these patrons are actually found in Angels, Demons, and Beings Between. It's another DCC RPG supplement that I highly recommend, and it's it's using two of them in there, um, and they're really cool patrons. So. Check out that um, that supplement as well. It's really helpful. It's got a bunch of new patrons for Dungeon Crawl Classics. Towards the end of the adventure, you're going to come across pretty much the apex of it, obviously. And you're, it involves hags. Now, I love hags. Hags are great. This is from my old Clash of the Titans day. Um, they're just really fun to describe, once again. So you've got trolls and hags, great nasty monsters to really really animate for your players. And that's what I would tell you to do. Just really go to town with how disgusting these hags are, how evil and menacing they look. I mean, they're just horrible. So really ramp that up. But what's fun is that your players are going to have to choose. They've gotten the story, they've put the piece together, and if they've put it together right, they're possibly going to make the right decision on who to help at this, this last big battle. Now, we'll let you know that this battle can be very, very deadly if they choose poorly. Um... And, you know, this can be a really nasty encounter. You could lose some players, lose some characters, I mean. But, overall, I think the adventure is very meaty. It can be played very fast. Uh, I love the story. I don't want to spoil too much. It's fun to read it, and as you're reading, going through it, you know, kind of see, oh, I see what's going on now. But there, again, there's some tragedy behind it. And at the very end, the characters may think they've won, and then they lose terribly, or one of them loses terribly. 
The last thing I want to say about it is that one of the magical items in it is really cool because it's actually cursed. It's really strong, so you're going to have players really wanting to get this magic sword, but it's going to corrupt them. It's going to, over time, it's going to happen. So it's fun to give them something to see their greed and see how, ooh, you know, this fancy sword of glows green. I mean, that right there is going to attract them. You know, it's really great at killing trolls, and they're going to really want that sword. But over time, it's going to corrupt them. And that's where you can lead on to the next adventure, Cursed of Mistwood, or do your own adventure uh, to, try to, to try to get rid of this curse of this sword. So there are some things on there, you know, in there that, to help propel the story on for, you know, forward. Um, it's got a great, uh, great starting town that you could use in any other adventure after you play this. So for 40, 40 pages, you're getting um, what I believe you could possibly do in several nights, four-hour sessions, several nights of gameplay. Um, or you could do it in one night um, if you kind of straight shot it. And you're also getting a great town that you could use in any other uh, of your own uh, home-brewed, made-up um, adventures. It's a great map. And it's a great small town, and you can just really have a field day with this area. So that's that right there is, is a lot of good quality with the adventure. I didn't see anything in it really that I, even though I haven't played it yet, I haven't seen I didn't see anything out of that that I didn't get or didn't understand. I think David Fisher did a great job describing lots of things that your players may do that they you know to to um, to relate to your your players um, and. I commend him for that. He's done a great job with that, uh, kind of leading the the, uh, the judge on in this adventure. So, if you like trolls, you like hags, you like a kind of a tragic story, um, and you like a lot of you know oppressive, swamp, nasty environment, then I think you're going to be happy with Trolls of Mistwood. And I'll be looking forward to um, the sequel to it, and hopefully I can give you a video about that as well. But um, if you've played it, Please write a comment down below, see if what you think about it. Um, if you have any questions about it, I'd be happy to answer anything. Um, I enjoy making these videos. I hope you like it, and um, thanks.